Scales acquisition has been proven to be the most direct way to tackle unemployment and empower youths to attain self-dependency. To this end, the Yes, We Are Winning Foundation has organized a symposium to commemorate the United Nations World Youth Day Skills Day. The symposium, which took place in Lagos, provided a platform for dialogue between experts in various fields and the youth. Our correspondent, Simi Saladigun, tells us more in this report. According to recent statistics, the unemployment rate in Nigeria currently stands at 33%, up from 32.5% in 2021. This number is projected to increase to 40% in 2023, given the present state of the country. At this symposium, organized by the Yes We Are Winning Foundation in commemoration of this year's World Youth Skills Day, young people gather to equip themselves with various ways of transforming their skills for the future. Speakers at the event say youth must attain for job-specific skill acquisition to thrive, adding that education and training will help increase their chances of gainful employment in today's very competitive world. When your skill, you know, does not match your education, nobody would want to employ you, even if it's your family business. You know, um, it's not a time to waste time and do. Um, nobody wants to waste resources trying to do trial and error again. Even while you are in school, build your experience. Build your, don't wait till the day you finish and you serve. Start from the secondary school. Start internship. Every holiday, go and learn something. Go and work in some company. For volunteer. All those things build your Leader of the Yes We Are Winning Foundation says its major aim is to build youth who are determined to excel despite daunting political and economic challenges through various empowerment initiatives and career development programs. In the past two weeks now, before today, we had organized a free training, online training for youth all over the, all over the country um, to acquire skills in digital marketing, content creation, um, event management, uh, project management, web design. You know, these are soft skills that youth can use to profit. You know, so um, we believe that in spite of the, the, in spite of the, on, the rate of unemployment in the country, every human, every every person has special skills, special abilities that can be unnecessary, you know, for self-development and national development. Other speakers at the event charge the youth to take advantage of various programs, which will make them quickly adapt to rapidly changing demand and equip them with skills for life. We need to take ownership of the choices we make and we need to be intentional. You can take a horse to the water, but you can't force it to drink. The young people have got to find solutions to those challenges. We can only advise. Those challenges will always be there. But guess what? It's those that find a way to overcome their challenges that will excel. So the tools that they need to arm themselves with are tools that will empower them to overcome the challenges no matter what it is. Look beyond those barriers. Look at the opportunities and look at how you can maximize them. The points where you decide that you are going to be positive minded and then you're going to be resourceful with what is on ground is where you start to make out something from what you have. According to the United Nations, the decade of action for its 2030 agenda requires the full engagement of young people in global processes which are vital to generating positive change and innovation in the world. Simisola Adikon, TV360, Lagos. The education.